Oh God. You got this, Bobs. Anyway, God knows, I've been, it feels like I've been listening to this audiobook forever. And I don't know how like big the physical copy of this book is, but it feels like it might be like sort of Duck's Newburyport length. But a couple more trips into town and it should be done. A couple more hours left. And I am enjoying it. As much as you can enjoy such things. Just got here and gonna set up now for yoga. Um, yeah, it's really lovely in here, really cozy. Hi, so further into my non-alcoholic journey, um, I've got this this evening, which is Naughty <laughs> Organic Sparkling Wine by Thompson & Scott, alcohol-free, and also it's labelled as vegan, just there. And I've been kind of looking for like a non-alcoholic wine, but they're not often vegan, but this one is, and uh, it's really good. And so it tastes like Prosecco, or even like, smells like Prosecco. So, I'm really pleased with it. Um, did I say it was a gift? It was a gift. So, amazing. Thank you so much. Yum. Whoa. Okay. So, here I am with my now new favourite drink, Naughty. <laughs> uh, what were they thinking? <laughs> It's bad enough we're drinking like busy non alcoholic wine and then to call it naughty. It's almost like they're trying to make it more lame. I know. And it's all like to make us think we're being naughty. Yeah. So here I am drinking some naughty. And um read an update. So I mean I haven't got much further with uh, Thorny Holes by Mary Stewart. Um I am on page a hundred, so I think I'm I think I need to do some catching up tonight. What chapter do I need to get to tonight, Bobs? Is it 19? I can't remember. Not quite 19 yet, I don't think. Okay, so I, need to, I think I need to read a couple of chapters. Um, I'm still feeling kind of the same about it. I think it's nice. <laughs> um, and kind of ni enjoyable as well. It feels quite gentle. Um, I did very much enjoy, there was a bit about a ferret. Was it a ferret? Yeah. Yes. So I enjoyed the ferret bit. There's especially a bit where she holds the ferret and she can, and he kind of snuggles in and she can feel his, like, how muscular he is. And I kind of liked that little bit. So I'm going to read a little bit more of that tonight. Bert's been complaining about the way I've been cleaning my glasses like this. <laughs> I just did it again. Um, and then Bert bought me this today. So it's Winterlust by... Burned Brunner, and it's got a forward by Mark Kalansky, who's that guy who wrote Salt and Cod, didn't he? Which, you know, I feel is uh, important. Um, and I've seen this on a couple of people's uh, channels. It's Finding Beauty in the Fiercest, Fiercest Season. And I do, I think I've mentioned before, I really like kind of snow and ice um, books. And it seems to be just like in different sections. It's got some illustrations as well. Um, I think it would be a really nice Christmas gift for people. Um, so it's got um, what makes winter winter, embracing winter, uh, metamorphosis of snow and ice, 
um, sliding away harsh winters and um, flora, fo fauna and folklore. So it looks really lovely. It's got yeah pictures in there as well. So thank you, Bert. Why did I get this book? I can't remember now. I think it was because I've been working so hard, yes. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's what I got. So, yeah. I mean, what better evening than Thorny Hold or Winterlust, a glass of naughty, but uh, pasta as well. Um, I'm very happy. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, well done, sweetheart. Thank you. So tomorrow we're going to go and... Um, right to my friend Teresa's house to watch what's it called? Moonstruck. Are we watching Moonstruck? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, that's going to be good. I need to take some fizz around there, so maybe some kombucha. Kicking off the festive season. Yeah.